here is an example of one of the graphics that you'll see from the industry. Their whole building electrification. Let's get rid of combustion for building heating, especially natural gas. Let's get rid of it in the kitchen where you have, you know, stoves and ovens and go towards induction technologies and so forth. Let's go to basically everywhere that we had any sort of combustion in the building, let's get rid of that and go to electrification. The idea is that we are trying to create more and more sustainable ways of creating electricity from natural and renewable resources. What we're going to find is that some of the times when we need to use combustion is the moments when things like solar are at their weakest. And so if we don't, if we go to full building electrification, all of a sudden we find ourselves pulling a lot of power off the grid with all the nerdiness that that implies. Okay. So the purpose of this particular presentation is to show the specific type of biomass combustion system actually turns out to be superior option in a sizable number of cases to full building electrification. So I came up with the term carbon negative mass heater because, of course, one of the huge things you hear over and over and over again is carbon and carbon accounting. I remember several different groups that are looking at the carbon footprint of everything, the carbon footprint of a building, both embodied, how much does the building take to build, and also operational carbon. A carbon negative mass heater is a complete building heating system that integrates a high efficiency biomass combustion core with a thermal mass to create a heating system that provides net sequestration of carbon, removing more from the atmosphere than it releases. So as I said, this system description is generic to allow for future in innovation, but we're gonna use specific configuration of a rocket mass heater as an example for this presentation. <laughs>